Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to discuss with you how we can calculate expected values and how we can set up a contingency table. The easiest way is to explain that with a simple uh, example. So we surveyed 82 women and 18 men and they have been asked for their favorite pets. And we want to know what is the expected value if men and women have the same preference for a cat or a dog. Now, the easiest way to start with is we just simply say, in the first place, how many people have we surveyed? And that's very uh, simple. We surveyed 82 females plus 18 men. So we have a total population of 100 people. Who we surveyed. That's the first thing that we need to know. And now we can make what is called a decision tree. So we first say, okay, let's look at the gender. And we know that we had 82 out of 100 females. And we also had 18 out of 100 males and they both in, like dogs as much as they like cats so out of these 82 women we have 50 percent cat lovers and 50% dog lovers. And the same is true for men. So we have 50% uh, in favor of cats and 50% in favor of dogs. And now we can calculate um, how many actually like these dogs. So we can say we have 50% of 82 people, of 82 women, and likewise here 50% of 82. And the same here we have 50% of 18 men who like cats and 50% of 18 men who like dogs. We can easily calculate that. So 50% of 82, so that's the half of 82, that would be 41. Women prefer cats, and of course 41 prefer dogs. 50% of 18, so that's half of 18. Nine men like cats and nine men like dogs. So these are actually our expected numbers our expected numbers and we can put them into what is called a contingency table. And a contingency table let me just quickly change the color here go for that. A contingency table is made up of rows and columns and here we just simply put in our numbers. We said we had nine males who like cats and we had nine males who like dogs and we had 41 women uh, who like cats and 41 women who like dogs. And we can also um, do the total numbers. So we have 18 males here and 82 women in this group here. And uh, for the cat lovers, we have, we can do the calculation in this direction. So we have 9 plus 41 
so that's 50 and 9 plus 41 that is 50 dog lovers and the total we can calculate the total in this direction or we can calculate it in this direction and it should give us the same number so 50 at 50 gives 100 18 plus 82 also gives 100 so that's our total number of people who we asked and these are the expected values if men and women don't have any preference now this particular table, as I said, is called a contingency table. And because it has two columns with data, so these two columns here, and two rows with data, male cats, dogs, female cats, dogs, it is called a two by two contingency table okay we don't please note we don't uh, count the uh, rows or the columns where we've set up the totals this is just this helps us to uh, do calculations so uh, we can easily calculate expected expected values and we from from this uh, on we can then also do some analysis of our data whether we do a real survey and if there is a difference between the responses that we get and the uh, expected responses that we should get so the important thing here in this clip is this contingency table and also that you are able to set up a decision tree I probably should say decision tree here so decision tree and that you can uh, easily do that and calculate here the expected uh, frequencies this should be a 9, of course, uh, that you can calculate the expected values for these data. I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching it.